Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Head Jazz playthrough here in Vicky Free, where things have been going well. You may notice things are slightly different than they were last time, that's simply because uh, for some reason my save didn't work. I don't know why, so I just blitzed myself back into the same position. One thing I haven't realised, I'm actually a tributary of Egypt, so at some point I'm going to have to break that. I'm also very concerned by my economy, because it is quite precarious at the moment um, and we do need to, to look to expand to increase our economy quite a bit which is potentially going to be tricky we need to get some places which really will help push my economy I mean where's my GDP my GDP is quite good but Oman is nearly as much all on its little lonesome um, so we do want to keep expanding but it's Picking the right places. Also, I need to go for specifically for places which have the right stuff, the right bits and pieces for us. Um, ah, I'm in the Egyptian. I hadn't even realised I was in the Egyptian market. I'm sure last time I did it, I wasn't a tributary of Egypt. But we'll see how this goes anyway. Um, so obviously, I am very much at the whims of the Egyptian market. Um, which is also good, because it means I can buy stuff off it, so... You know, while my market isn't great, you know, all of this is very much impacted by the Egyptian market, so... We'll see how it goes, basically. Because they are getting their butts kicked. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. So yeah, tech-wise, I want to start pushing romanticism because we are currently a, a traditionalist state, which we absolutely want to change. We want to start moving, changing that, and then slowly changing ourselves to a more modern society, uh, which will help us. And to do that, we need to get down to romanticism. Uh, and, you know, move away from traditionalism and get better taxing taxes and things. Because we want to make ourselves into a powerhouse. But for now, I think that means chummying up to Egypt as much as possible. We're trying to make friends with both sides, so... I'm also still technically unrecognised, so... I have a cunning plan for that, however. Bit careful with my convoys. What else is expensive for my people? Thing is, it's, I can barely impact this because I'm so small, which is not ideal. Um, as yet, I feel a bit at sorts because I've had to start this from a different place. But let us get a. Government admin out because we've had to start this from a very different position, which, yeah, really does make me feel a bit at sorts. Um, I'm also going to drop off a few military buildings because I feel I need 17. Oh, that's how I screwed myself. Ah, yeah. So I was trying to work out. I've, I've in the past been doing this. I have, I've had a little bit of an extra play and. 17 is free extra, so yeah. Drop that down to 50. Oop, wrong one! Oh, I've overdone it. That's fine. Line infantry, which I could switch to, but will cost me. Let's see. Because my economy is very precarious, so I want to be careful. There we 
go. I, I need to, I, I can't afford to be going too much into decks. The more in debt you get, the more interest you pay on it, which when you've got such a small economy is not ideal. So we want to spend, just, just chill for a little bit and build up and plot, plot our future. As I think Horn of Africa may be a good idea because iron mines, which are going to be key for us. And some relatively weak states. Uh, I may need to rebuild my military a bit first. Aman is obviously a target because they have places everywhere. But I think if I push it to Horn of Africa, that's quite a good place for me. Obviously, Ethiopia is scary. Um, I think I'm probably going to chummy up to Egypt as much as possible. Could demand independence. Uh, the gamble, we don't gamble. Uh, we are a Muslim nation and Muslims don't gamble. Or shouldn't gamble. I'll phrase it that way. Okay, I'm very, very tempted to go for Amman. Ah, to be fair. Oh, you see, because I think I could take this before the Brits got here. Um, and if I did that, I could possibly cheekily make myself a recognized power at the same time. I'm very tempted to try. Because if I can... Ah, I can't take it yet, can I? I'd have to get round there, right. Do I have a navy? No, I need a navy. I need ship. At least one. Stay as a regular for the time being to keep my economy going a bit better. This is the problem with really small nations. Everything is on a knife edge. See, it's the Egyptian market. So it's how well these guys do at the moment which really impacts me. Um... And I am unfortunately having to put a big chunk of my money to them. I'd be making much more money if I wasn't their, their vassal. Their tributary. Sure is, it doesn't matter. I'm barely going to make any difference. I say that. If I make furniture... Because it's expensive on the market, I will make good money off it. Should make good money off it. <laughs> build it, build it, build it! Last time I felt I was in a much better economic position, oddly. We'll, we'll mess around with that afterwards. Ooh, actually, I might be able to do some stuff here, though, because I'm taking it off the Egyptian, the other market, and that puts up the cost of dyes, which makes it less good. Now, some of my other buildings, I may be able to tweak a bit to make more money. Unfortunately, the Egyptian market is also not great. That's good. That'll make us more money. And then everything else is subsistence farms.
basically right now we're trying to keep everything as cheap as possible. As cheap as chips. And obviously integrating these guys will make me make... Oh, I have done. Gives various buffs. <laughs> this hurts. I suspect somebody's going to offer to take my debt. Faith knows no borders, which to strengthen their ties to the Ottoman Empire. Mm, yes, I keeping these guys, the Ottomans and the Egyptians on side is going to be key for us. Right, so what tech do we want next? We've got Romanticism. Um, nationalism, because we need that eventually. And this means I can potentially change this. So I need to put other people into my government here. I think they wanted agrarianism. There we go. And this will straight up get me more tax, won't it? Yeah, we get 25% extra taxation capacity, but we will also be losing a chunk of bureaucracy. Uh, but if we could push it through, it's good. It did, however, annoy my landowner class, which is a major class for me. Hang on, let's... Let's bring these out. It's got probably a better way of doing this than this, but I like seeing them all. So basically, I'm hitting star there and star on the whole thing. I don't know if there's a way of altering this whole thing, but I'm not sure how. No, nope, that's the menu. That's the guide. <laughs> the danger is my interest payments now are maybe so high that it's going to cripple me. Slaves would technically make me more money. Apparently. Ah, uh, we are out of tools. The issue there isn't whether it makes us more money. It's the fact it's running out of tools. We're making money. I'm going to actually push my tax up a big chunk for a while just to try and push me in the right direction. Force it through! A few more radicals. What's a few radicals going to do to me? No regret saying that. big is their army? They have none. I'm very tempted to go for them right now. Uh, it's a risky move, however. But while they're fighting themselves, and that will open me up to the Trucial States, which I have a cunning plan about, that'll probably be a future cunning plan for the future, anyway. don't want to annoy the Landowners anymore while I'm trying to push for a law they're inevitably not going to like. Right. Let's do this. I want your state. Yeah, I'm, my infamy is still fine. Now, I'm not going to be able to attack here directly because there's no beautiful bridge over like there is nowadays. We will have to send a boat. Why 
what I am actually going to do is get rid of one of my generals. They're both a bit crap, to be fair. Uh... Ooh, who's joined them? Oh, God damn you, Aman. Egypt are leaning to join me, but haven't. I mean, I'm going to leave it there if I can take them. I'm going to cripple myself doing this. This was a bad idea, guys. Come on. Oh, I say it's a bad idea. Oh my god. Okay, last time we got our butts kicked by them. I don't want to judge because last time they have a second force down here, which they can pull in. But if we take here quick enough... Amon is valuable. Damn, I wish I'd tried to take a few more places it's off a man. Uh, it doesn't look like we're getting agrarianism anytime soon, guys. I think I took it. Yes. So we need to force Amman to capitulate now. And this will basically cripple Amman. And we've already won this. I don't know what's happening here. It's just going boing, boing, boing. <laughs> nice! And my economy is actually slightly positive. This is a nice bit of territory with some good, good stuff. So I'm actually quite happy about that. Oh, ho, ho. Beautiful, the Sharif of Hejaz is doing nicely. Oh, I wish I'd tried to take a bit more off them, can I? No, I see I need to become a recognized power at some point, which is the real danger. Now I may, ah, you see this Bahrain, is this Bahrain the same Bahrain? I mean, we gotta do it now. And hope like hell nobody big joins. Ah, they capitulated. <laughs> oh yeah, we need to start incorporating, don't we? So they are part of the Trucial Coast. I'm, I'm quite I'm quite happy with that. I mean, we're still teeny. We still have a long way to go, but that puts us in a nice starting position, guys. Um, apparently, I can make coffee. Yeah, let's get a coffee plantation going, guys. 
These basic resources are probably what I'm going to make the most of from. And lead mines might be good, but no, I will lose from them. I could get coffee here as well. Must be true for total years. Religion, autocracy, nationality. Uh, I enacted for autocracy? Mm, no. Devout scandal forced him to step down. So, yeah. I love this little places in the desert. Oh, Riyadh looks teeny. Oh, I'm just going to stop this for now. We will come back to it, but we're not going to get it now. Lord. Local police force gives the landowners more power, which I don't really want because they're already fairly powerful. Um, ooh, that's really good, but that will piss the landowners off massively. A lot of things get locked behind that. Oh, that's the thing. It gives them a huge amount. You know what? Let's try. Let's see what happens. It may trigger a civil war, but if we can push past that. Oh, shit. What's going on with my economy? Again, I am at the whims of the Egyptian economy here, which makes this tricky because I can just suddenly get blatted by something happening, which utterly utterly screws me and obviously we're we're just uh, dealing with all these new buildings so we should slowly start to make money Let's lower my military slightly because my military is of absolutely no I can't take these guys, any of the big guys around me. Ethiopia is definitely a threat as well. Um, something popped up briefly. I have a plan here, but it's going to be a risky one. Basically, my plan is to try and take them on. They are a British protectorate. If I can take them out before Brittany gets there, I can take the territory in one fell swoop. And then, I can effectively, I can also add as part of it, a recognition caveat off Britain, which would be really helpful. I'm going to leave my tax a bit higher, because I want to... Do stuff. Stuff and things. Things and stuff. Um, basically, if I've got a powerful economy with a lot built up, I can do much more from it, which is useful for me. If I get this free, that'd be beautiful, because reducing them is probably one of the things we want to do early, but I have pissed them off something rotten now. Which is going to make doing other things harder. But reducing their power and potentially even getting them out of government. Is important. But it's a slow process. Uh, it's, it's failed. It's 0% now. Let's go back to trying to push agrarianism then. 25% extra tax would be huge for me. Oh, 
Oh, it gives us official nationality. So we missed maybe theocracy. Oh, one of them. Okay, so I just need to wait time. This just means we've got to maintain autocracy. I thought I had to get theocracy. I was thinking, I, I assumed it was a different, you know, the because you've got two government types. Um, so I was assuming it was uh, the distribution of power. Ah, yeah, it was. Never mind. Derp, derp. Hmm. Okay, anyway, guys, we are going to leave this one here. I may even skip a little bit ahead in the next one before I do anything. We'll see. But as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this. Sorry we had a bit of an odd start where I had to, uh, slight different start from the previous episode. Annoyingly, I think I was better off in the previous episode, but we've done quite well now. Uh, next time, well, we'll see. I'm, I'm going to have a think about the crucial states. It's a risky move, but I think it's a risky move we need to make. We'll find out whether I make it and whether I survive it next time. Cheers, all. As always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. And pop a comment down below letting me know how you think I'm doing. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members, Monsters Abound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason F, and Jared Horn. And thank you to everyone else for watching. Cheers, all.